Hey guys, Klauf here, and today we are covering some of the new snapshot things that they have added. They have really revolutionized commands here, but we're going to start off with something a little bit more simple, and that is the slash random command. So as you probably know, I made a data pack a while back as a part of my math data pack, and it included a way to do random number generation. And now they have added a command dedicated to random number generation, basically making that pack a little bit irrelevant. Um, a lot of the other stuff they added also uh, will help give us better ways to do what is in the math pack. So I may actually update it eventually with these changes. But for now, let's take a look at the random command. So the random command has a very simple syntax and it does a very simple thing. It generates a random number between some range uniformly. I know a lot of people are a little bit upset maybe because it didn't include uh, different distributions or the complexity that they were looking for, but from most of my projects, this is pretty much good enough. So with the command, you just type slash random and then followed by either reset role or value. The difference between role and value is role will announce it in the chat and value will just give you a value. So 99% of the time you will probably use slash random value, but slash random role is also an option. The other interesting thing is slash random role is actually a command allowed by non-opt players because it kind of gives non-opt players a way to, I don't know, flip a coin, right? Uh, so it lets you do some more survival things if you want to allow people to roll dice metaphorically. Uh, so anyways, we're going to use roll here just because it'll give me the chat output every time. And so we're going to do random roll. Then the next input is a range of numbers. Now, the way that you format this range of numbers is identical to the way that you format score checks. And so you put the lower bound with two dots and the upper bound and it is inclusive. So if I do random roll one dot dot six, that means it'll give me a number between one and six. And so it says the command block rolled some number four, two, one, one, four, and it will be uniformly distributed. Of course, I have not tested to prove it, but I assume that it is uniformly distributed. Now, one thing to note is that there is a limit to these ranges. So if I click this one, it'll give me an error. Uh, there is a maximum range of values you can use. I don't know why you would ever come across a case where you would need a larger range of values, but just something to keep note of. You can also alternatively do something like one dot dot and leave this without an upper bound and it actually will generate a number from one to the maximum integer value. Um, again, not really sure why you would need that, but it's something interesting to keep note of. The last feature of random, the random command is sequences. So sequences are, they sound more complicated than they really are. I really wish that there was a way to generate a random element in a sequence as I would think of it in my mind, but all sequence does is it's actually just a way to control seeds. So sequence is basically a seed. And so you can reset or change this seed if you want. So what we can do is slash random roll one to six, and then we can add a sequence here called my underscore sequence. And now when I click this, uh, hold on, sorry. When I click this, you will get a set of numbers generated two, two, four, four, five, six, one, four, one, five, six, one. So that looks pretty random, right? But if you ever wanted to generate the same set of random numbers, uh, that will be hard with just slash random roll. Uh, so to do that, you have to use sequences. And so I can reset the sequence called my sequence. And so we do random reset sequence and this will reset it. So basically just set the seed to what it originally was. And so when I do that, I will click this and you will see that I get the same sequence of random numbers. You can also actually set the seed to a value if you want a hard coded value. And you can also include the world seed or not. So I checked really quickly and uh, if it's false, then the world, uh, the seed will be the same no matter what world you're in. If it's true, then you might get a different sequence if you're in a different world. Uh, and then lastly, we have the include sequence ID. And so this is whether to include the ID, the sequence ID when seeding the sequence. So this means that uh, if I included the, if I did not include it, then two sequences could have the same seed. So all that little extra complexity aside, all you really need to know is that you could do slash random value and provide it a range. And so this will make certain command things a lot simpler, although it's not going to be a game changer. It will be a game changer in terms of command accessibility. So people don't have to look for some random data pack that implements randomization or use some inefficient loot table generator or something of the sort. Uh, it is 
straight up just in the game that should have been here for a while and i definitely agree with this command edition i think it's great uh there are other really great command editions that came out in this snapshot 23w31a that we will definitely go over soon but you will have to give me a minute to kind of sort out my thoughts on that uh, and kind of put together a more inclusive tutorial anyways guys if you thought that was useful leave a like and i will see you next time peace